Today, Billie Eilish is going to speak publicly about her illness. The clip will play first, then I'll give my reaction. Let's do it. We're back with Billie Eilish, and so you've got huge, I mean, like you've got fans that are Julia Roberts, uh, Sam Smith, Tom York, mm -hmm. uh, Dave she Gold is here, he's well. a huge fan of yours. He, he, you know, I mean, like you have major people that are fans of yours. It's unreal. It's crazy because like, I don't know, I feel like recently I've met a lot of people that my, my parents grew up as fans of, you know, right. and that's no disrespect to your age. Right. <laughs> Dave. <laughs> You're old, Dave. But, um, <laughs> no, but it's, I think that's when, when it really hits me because, yeah. you know, I was, in a, I was even in a meeting with Stella McCartney and she FaceTimed her dad, which is Paul, Paul McCartney. McCartney. <laughs> so, right. you know, my mom cried. She my just dad seemed cried. so yeah, it was, your eyes approachable, are you know? <laughs> Me? Um, yeah, you. Oh, I yeah. thought you were still telling a story. No. Your eyes are beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. All right, so, uh, so that, is that who freaked you out the most, is Paul McCartney, do you think? Probably. I feel like probably. But in London, Sporty Spice came backstage. Oh. Oh, wow. And Sporty it, Spice. that meant something to you? That did. Did you follow the Spice Girls? You're too young for that. Okay, can I tell you something? Tell well, you're here. So, <laughs> so when, um, when I was growing up, I would watch, growing up, I'm 17, um, <laughs> we would watch the Spi like Spice World. Like, I watched that movie like 40 times, and I thought it was like a fictional movie about a group of girls what? who were in a group, and they sang. And I thought that was Spinal it. Spinal Tap. Like, Spinal Tap. I remember tap. seeing like some like Spice Girls, and I was like, "Oh my God, they're reenacting the movie." Yeah. Because <laughs> I thought it was like I thought it was like a fictional movie about some girls. Right. Called the Spice Girls. Right. Mm -hmm. It wasn't. No, no. <laughs> um, and so uh, you spoke about something that I think is really important and uh, and brave that you didn't intend to speak about, but uh, that you have Tourette syndrome and that it comes out at certain times, but I think that's, that's amazing that you spoke about it because you kind of take away the, you know, scariness of it. It's something I've lived with my whole life and everybody knows, like everybody in my family, all my friends, all the people that are closest to me know I have it and it's not anything different, you know? And I just never said anything because I didn't want to, I didn't want that to define who I was. I didn't right. want it to be like, Billy, I, the artist with Tourette's, Billie yeah. <laughs> Eilish is yeah, on Ellen. Yeah. yeah. I have ways of, um, kind of making them go away. Uh -huh. So if I'm on like, if it's like an on-camera interview or whatever. That's what this is. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> but normally, if it's like a pre-taped thing, they cut out the questions. Right. And that's when I let them out. But then there was this one interview where they didn't tell me they weren't going to cut the questions out. So I'm, I'm sitting there answering the questions like, uh-huh. And then they, they start asking me a question, and I'm like, wow. And then everyone's like, that's so funny. And they made a whole. Yeah. There was tons of compilations, like, this is so funny that Billy did this facial expression, yeah. when really it's just a bunch of ticks. Right. Well, no, I think, it, like I said, I think it's a good thing that you, because you, I'm sure a lot of people She's have that. She's very strong. It's, it's, look at where you are and look at what you, you know, have accomplished and you haven't let that, you know, even make you feel like there's something wrong with it, because it's not. It's yeah. just part of who you are. I think I also really learned that, like, a lot of my fans have it. Yeah. Like, which, which made me feel kind of more at home with saying it, because yeah. I remember post, and also I felt like there was a connection there. I felt like when I said that, there were kids that were posting and being like, oh my God, I've always had this. Yeah. Like, now she has it and she's who I can yeah. look up to with it, but. Yeah, no, I think it's, I, like I said, I think a lot of people watching now that, you know, maybe didn't hear you say it before will be like, well, I have it too, and that's great. Okay, um, wow. Oh, I know why I like Billy. I finally figured it out. She's like your best friend's little sister and you just feel protective over her because I really, really hope the industry doesn't destroy her or eat her alive or take away. See, we just saw and what you see a lot with her is her being real, down to earth, and a certain amount of innocence. She's only 17, but you know what I mean? And a lot of people who make it big, who, I hate Kanye, <laughs> I just, 
He thinks everything he says is earth moving and stuff. Ground shaking. She's not like that. She's just, boom, whatever, you know. If I had her status at 18, I would be a jerk. I'd be, I'm my mother. I'm my way, you cuss it. Yeah, but she's not like that. And that's part of her appeal. Now, I'm rambling, so I'm going to stop. It's Billy. I liked it, <laughs> okay? If you are new, please go ahead, subscribe. I can't talk. <clears throat> go ahead, subscribe. Hit the notification button. And I'll see you, my newfound friend, in my next video. Be well.